From the very beginning, Alvin Ardell Woodpecker Pete Grubb was utterly crazy about horses, ranch life, and rodeo. He was working in nearby ranches at age 14 and entered his first pro rodeo at 16, and he never looked back. Grubb ultimately proved to be one of the most versatile all-around hands in the Cowboys Turtle Association, becoming just the second cowboy in the history of the sport to win world championships at both ends of the arena. He was the bareback riding world champ in 1938 and won the team roping title in 1940 riding his prized horse Scooter. In 1934, Grubb became the first cowboy to win the bareback riding and saddle bronc riding titles in the same year at the Madison Square Garden Rodeo in New York. He went on to win the bareback riding titles again in New York in 1935 and 36. Before retiring in 1941, Grubb also notched wins at prestigious stops like the California Rodeo Salinas and the Southwestern Livestock Exposition in Fort Worth. In 1941, Grubb decided to stop chasing world championships, but that doesn't mean he retired. He purchased two stock contracting firms in Arizona in 1958 and produced rodeos all over the Southwest in the late 1950s and early 60s. He also worked as a cattle rancher and a judge for several large rodeos. Grubb fed his post-rodeo competitive urges by roping and riding the occasional bronc at ranch jackpots up until the time of his death of a heart attack at age 55. Pete Grubb was a pioneer in pro rodeo and now takes his rightful place in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.